Hey everyone, welcome back to Small Batch Devs. My name is Austin. And I'm Elliot. Today we are going to quickly cover the RxJS operator merge map. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and like the video. It will surely help us out a lot. But without any further ado, let's jump into it. So merge map is an RxJS operator that allows us to combine the values from a source observable with the values of a second inner observable and flatten that data into a single observable stream. Merge map has similar use cases to switch map, flat map, and concat map, um, but it allows for finer control of your inner uh, observable subscriptions. But if you are familiar with those other operators, then that could help to become more familiar with merge map. So diving into the code, you can see we've got our imports at the top and we're importing merge map directly from the RxJS operators library, which is the streamlined way to import RxJS operators. But looking at our first example, we've got observable one and observable two. Now each one has a different set of data. We've got letters in the first one and numbers in the second. And what we're gonna do with our merge map is we're going to combine these two by adding them together so that when they console log, you'll have A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, and so on. Just like I predicted. <laughs> Genius. So how is this working? Well, it's taking each value from observable one and going to combine that with each value from observable two. So each value from observable two will get repeated for every value of observable one. That's why you see the A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, and so on. And you can see that we're not explicitly subscribing to that inner pipe observable that we're returning inside our merge map. And that's because that it's subscribed to automatically, which is handled by the merge map. So you're combining the observable one and the observable two into a single observable stream. In our second example here, we just wanna show that you can use more realistic data like objects in your merge map functions. Um, so the first thing we have here is we're creating an observable um, of an array of objects um, using this from operator. And we just have some dummy data in here, some different whiskeys. And then in this other observable um, of an array of objects, we have more whiskeys. And down here where all the magic happens with the merge map, we're doing something similar to the previous example, except we're returning an entirely new object using the name of one piece of data from the initial or the source observable, which is ops3, and data from the second ops4 observable. And so when we run this code now, we'll see data more similar to what we're actually returning and this kind of also shows the finer control we have when we make these subscriptions. So for each Buffalo Trace bourbon, we're pairing that up with the Whiskey 1, um, Whiskey 2, Whiskey 3. For each Lag Rule in 16, we're pairing that with the Whiskey 1, Whiskey 2, Whiskey 3, and so on and so forth. So you might be thinking, isn't Merge Map pretty similar to Concat Map? Well, Merge Map actually runs asynchronously with each value from the source observable. And what this means is that when a new value comes through the source observable pipeline, merge map will not cancel any existing work being done on the previous value from your source observable. So let's go ahead and look at a coding example to hopefully clear up some confusion. Uh, in our code here, we're creating two interval observables. The first one will emit a new value every second, and the second will emit a value every three seconds. Um, this is very similar to our previous examples where we're just logging some information, but we're, we have a custom log in here now, so we're using the tap operator. We'll have interval one and then the value from the outer observable and then interval two and the value from the inner observable. So if we run this code and let it run for a few seconds, we'll get some values here. So we've let the code run for about five seconds and then we canceled it. And you can see here, we have a bunch of numbers on our screen. And I'm going to try to explain what all of this means. Um, so if we just are paying attention to our interval one screen real quick, you'll see that it starts off normally. We get zero, we get one, and then we get two, and then we get zero again. 
And at this point, the inner observable, the, uh, the interval two observable, has emitted a new value. Um, and that was after three seconds, right? And then you can see we go into, uh, we get a three for interval one because that was, it's still kicking off those and emitting those new values from our outer observable. But at, at the same time now, we're getting some overlap with the values getting emitted through um, the inner observable. And you can see after the interval one colon three, we go back to one. And that is because three seconds after the interval one colon one kicked off, we now have an interval one colon one, but the interval two is now one. So you can start seeing how we're getting some overlap and all these values that we admitted three seconds ago are now getting their inner observable um, count to go, to go up. Um, so hopefully that cleared up some confusion. If you have any questions, you can also just drop them in the comments section and hopefully we can clear up some confusion if you still have any that way. So when's a good time to use something like this? Oh, a good time to use something like this is when you want your inner observables to not get killed off. Let's say you're um, communicating with some service, sending some data to a service. Um, you obviously don't want that to abruptly stop. Um, so that's a good use case scenario. I'm sure there's many others, but that is one. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. So today we covered the merge map property from RxJS. We also showed you a few coding examples and demoed each one to see how they worked. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. Um, we appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Really handy for combining objects. Ugh. Sounded awful. He said. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> Hope that made sense. If that didn't make sense, <laughs> Ha <laughs>